Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Challenge, sponsored by Long Island News Today. I am your host, Anthony Campos, and tonight we take a break from competition to do our first athlete showcase of the year. With the huge YouTube pay-per-view battle between Matthew Hegedus and Edwin Monk Claudio a little over a week away, we wanted to profile Matthew Hegedus as he comes out of a long three-month retirement to try to win the title that he has owned three times throughout his career. Before we bring Matt in for a little Q&A, however, Let's show a clip of how Matthew Hegedus got started in the UFC. Roll the tape, please. Matthew Hegedus comes from humble beginnings. After being abandoned by his parents at the age of 16, Matt was forced to live in his car and even went homeless for a couple years when his car was repossessed. Matt slept outside. He ate out of the garbage. He did what he had to do to survive. After working several odd end jobs to try to get back on his feet, one day Matt saw an ad for the Ultimate Sports Challenge in the newspaper and immediately knew that becoming the USC champion was his destiny. Matt trained vigorously and trained vigorously and trained vigorously and trained vigorously until he got his first opportunity at the 2004 USC Checkers Tournament. Matt breezed through the competition and went on to defend his Checkers title twice, becoming one of the most feared USC competitors the show has ever seen. Then, in the midst of defending his title during the 2007 USC Checkers Championships, Matt broke his toe when his title fell on it as he was walking down the stairs. The injury forced Matt to retire, and he took a job as a commentator here in the USC. But after watching Edwin Monk Claudio take his checkers title and become the new face of the USC, Matt wanted back in and announced his return to the USC. Now he is back and hungrier than ever. Wow, what an amazing story. Right now, I'd like to introduce the man that is more than capable of taking Edwin Monk Claudio's USC title in a little over a week via YouTube pay-per-view. He is coming off a long three-month retirement. Matthew Hegedus, the three-time Checkers champion. Welcome to the program. How are you tonight, brother? I'm doing great. I mean, I'm a limousine riding, Learjet flying, wheeling and dealing, kiss dealing, son of a gun. How about yourself? First of all, Matt, how is the injury healed? The USC fans would like to know. They know you dropped the title on your toe and broke it. How is the injury healed? I mean, I'd have to say it's healed pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm like the bionic man. I got a little metal in my toe. Uh, my toe broke in five places. But, wow. Um, five places. Wow. Yeah, I mean, this is this could be a career-ending injury. If you know, if you remember when uh, Shaq stubbed his toenail about five years ago, he couldn't make it to the playoffs. So. Uh, it's it's the ty it's it's the type of thing that professional athletes never want to happen to them to to break your toe. Matt, you've been notorious for your workout regimen since you've been in the USC, and I have to know what has your regimen been like now that you're returning to compete, and do you feel like you're in shape to compete? My workout regimen, it's got to be the most intense in the game. I mean, I'd say that you know Arnold Schwarzenegger on his runs to the Olympia paled in comparison. Was uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger smoking three packs of Mobile Reds a day? Was he drinking a bottle of Smirnoff? No, I don't think so. I'm up to about, I'd say, six push-ups a day, one pull-up a week. I got my mile about down to an hour now. I'm uh, eating three cartons of uh, ice cream a day. So, I mean, I'd say I'm, I'm coming in in tip-top shape. I'm, I'm going to kick this kid's ass. Uh, Matt... Why do you hate Edwin Monk Claudio so much? And why is he accusing you of putting laxatives in his drink? I mean, first of all, I'd have to say hate is a powerful word. I don't really hate him. You know, I have a lot of respect for him. I mean, for a pelican to get as far as he's gotten, I'd say he's doing a good job. But um, he's got my belt. I want my belt back, and I'm going to do what it takes. And as far as the laxatives are concerned, I mean, come on, you know, I, I was tried at a hearing last Thursday. I was found not guilty by the USC commission. No, but I, um, I might put laxatives in his drink for this, uh, for this upcoming event. It's a possibility. 
What is your prediction for the match against Edwin Monclodio? <laughs> Predictions for the match? You ever see Ike beat Tina? Yeah. You ever see a lion rip apart a gazelle? Yeah. That's what it's going to look like. My prediction for the match is that I will once again be the USC champion. And then I will become the undisputed champion of the world. All my fans in Zambia, in New Zealand, in Iceland, they're counting on me. I've at least got $25 worth of donations in the past week so that I could get more powdered donuts. I'm doing this for them, and I'm doing this for the strippers. You could take that to the bank, punk. Matt... Thanks a ton for being on the show tonight. We appreciate it. And that's going to do it for our first USC Athlete Showcase of the Year. Tune in next week when Matthew Hegedus, the three-time Checkers champ, challenges Edwin Monk Claudio here live on USC Pay-Per-View YouTube. Make sure you don't miss it. Call your local YouTube operator and find out how you could get it in your home. For the whole USC staff, I'm Anthony Campos. Till next week. Keep it real, everyone. Peace. Thank you for coming.